Hey everyone, this is Jono and I just want to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about Coda. This is a really exciting company that my wife Eric and I just invested in and I think they're building something really cool that I wanted to share. So what they've done is they've taken the notion of a document, they've strapped a big red glowing jetpack to it and made documents and collaborative documents far more useful and extensible than ever before. So let me give you an example. Imagine you're going to kick off a new project, right? So what do you do? You go and create something like a Google Doc and you outline the goals of the project and the deliverables and who's involved and the milestones and the resources required and the task list, all of that stuff. And the goal of that document is not just to pull the team together to be more organized, but then to keep your stakeholders up to date with progress. But then when the project kicks off and it's up and running, you've now got to go to your project management tool and your analytics tool and your reporting systems and pull all the updated information into that central document to keep everybody on the same page. It's a giant bureaucratic pain in the neck. Now the way this would work in Coda is that I create a document and there's a really, really rich set of tools for adding text and images and formatting and tables and interactive elements such as checkboxes and radio buttons and things such as that. But then instead of copying the information from my project management tool and my analytics tool and my reporting tool, I can embed all of that live data into my document. So whenever I open the document, it's always current. And what I love about this is that that's not just a window to another system, it's an interactive view. If you've got a big list of tasks and different assignments and you have a meeting, you decide somebody else needs to be on one of these tasks, instead of going to that separate platform, you can just add them as the assignee right within that code document. The first time Eric and I saw this, we were blown away. We could immediately see how this is so much more useful than this hodgepodge of different platforms all connected together with chewing gum and sticky tape. Now Coda take it a step further and they have the notion of templates. So let's say you've got a team of content creators where well, you could create a Coda document and you could list here's 10 content ideas and then all of your team members can go into that document and vote on those ideas right within the document. You don't need a separate voting platform to do that. It's baked right in. What I love about this is that Coda becomes useful for really big serious business problems but also for fun little small personal things. For example, I wanted to share a list of the songs I listen to most on Spotify. So I created a Coda document connected it to Spotify, selected that filter for that list of songs and boom, I can share it with people. And now my friends can go into that document and comment and collaborate and tell me how truly terrible my music tastes are. So to me, what's so powerful about this is that as Coda adds more and more integrations and they've integrated with a ton of different platforms, it becomes more powerful every single time you use it. You gotta throw away the concept of the old written document because in Coda, you can add truly interactive elements. For example, you could add a button to add new entries into a table. You could add a button to notify a user when a particular milestone is met. All of these things are possible. A Coda document brings kind of the best elements of a collaborative document and an app and a set of data sources and integrations. And it means that the potential here is limitless. I've seen people using Coda for running meetings, tracking meeting notes, coordinating projects, providing dashboards for updates on projects, creating company reports, handbooks, memos, documentation portals. I've seen people blogging with Coda and collaborating with other authors. I've seen people producing blog posts that don't age because instead of there being a screenshot of the data, you can constantly show the live data in your post. Look, like many of you, I was so excited when I could log into a document and I could see other people type in in the same document. It was so cool and it opened up all kinds of opportunities. But that's the old days now. We're now into a new future and this is the way it should work. Instead of having all of these different tools and platforms and services all sitting separately, we can now pull them together centrally into these super powerful documents. And this is precisely the reason why Erica and I invested in Coda. We think it's the future. And not only that, but the team that's building it are super smart, they're doing great work, and I'm really excited to see what they come up with next. So if you wanna go and check it out, go to coda.io, and I'd love to hear your feedback. Have you used it? What did you think? Be sure to share in the comments below and I'll see you soon.